Hi and welcome back to the channel. My name's Dan and I'm an old grumpy gamer. I recently created a new character in Grand Theft Auto 5 online and have been slowly building them up as work and other commitments allow. And that got me thinking, which is the most effective way to max your driving bar or at least level the driving in GTA Online and presumably GTA 5. So the team at Old Grumpy Gamers got their science on and did some experimenting. Now it's worth noting at this point, this is not a video on how to level your driving fast. Without mods or cheats, it cannot be done. This video is on the fastest, most efficient way to get those stats up if you're a solo player on a low level. For each experiment, we did our best to perform a single consistent activity for 20 minutes. We took a quick screen grab before and after each activity, then set up measuring markers to get a reasonably accurate visual representation of the progress we made. This is in a brand new character. He already has some driving above the base. Uh, let's call it 33 and 3 quarter markers. The first most obvious one was high speed highway driving. To start with, we uh, acquired a moderately quick performance car, something with, uh, with long legs. We then hit the northern highways of Los Santos for about 20 minutes. At the end of the run, we ended up with a touch over two additional markers of driving skill. Next up, city and suburb driving. The challenge here is to get a decent pace up, but not to hit anything. And from what I've read, having a prang will result in the reset of any potential progress. We grab something small and nimble for this exercise. And at the end of the run, we ended up with just shy of two additional markers of driving skill. Finally, I'm taking a novel idea from a commenter, Jonathan Phillips, who suggested something similar to our stealth method. No idea if this will work or not, but uh, let's give it a crack. For this one, we've um, sourced something with good ground clearance, found a spot where we shouldn't be interrupted, and done some rubber band magic with the controller. And after 20 minutes, with a few corrections here and there, we have precisely no additional markers of driving skill. To recap, 20 minutes of high speed highway driving landed us just over two additional markers, 20 minutes of city driving, just under two additional markers, and 20 minutes of hands free was a complete waste of time. In conclusion, we think the most efficient way to build driving is to simply drive fast on the highway uh, where there's traffic. From what we can tell, this will result in you building one full bar of driving for every one hour and 45 minutes or so of accident-free driving. So before we head off, don't forget about our shark card giveaways. Visit oldgrumpygamers.com slash giveaways for details on how to enter, or click the link in the description below. And if you've missed out on a giveaway or just can't wait for the next one, head on over to oldgrumpygamers.com slash offers for cheap shark cards, games, and other stuff. So thanks for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure having you. If you like what you've seen, click that like button below. It'll really help us out. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe and that notification button. Stay safe, wash your hands, and we'll see you in the next video.